It was a wild marathon chase creating a trail of destruction. 20 police cars in pursuit, powerless to stop it. We could only follow the vehicle and pursue the vehicle. Uh, it was uh, it was unlikely that we were able to stop an armoured personnel carrier. The decommissioned APC was stolen from a forklift factory. The 45-year-old in the driver's seat held bent on destroying mobile phone towers in Sydney's west. He was crashing through gates, through fences, through paddocks. Uh, the police couldn't really stop him, obviously. Officers sprinted towards the vehicle, only to run for it seconds later. The former military vehicle trampled over cyclone fences, repeatedly ramming power plants attached to eight phone towers, knocking them offline, causing millions of dollars damage. The bulletproof carrier rumbling through seven suburbs. When I saw the tank roll off the intersection, I thought I'd done too many night shifts. The gun turret and smoke mortars are just for show, but police weren't to know that when they first spotted the vehicle. They chased it for an hour, wondering how on earth they were going to stop it, short of using a bazooka. It pulled into a trucking yard. Yeah. I came out of the office and asked, tried to ask the bloke to slow down, which is my job, and saw it was an army tank. Well, how do you slow an army tank down? The APC stalled as it lined up another tower. It was then police were able to make their move. They aimed capsicum spray through the back door. When the driver emerged, it took six officers to subdue him. What was yesterday? What was yesterday? John Robert Patterson today faced court on a range of charges, including predatory driving. He's been ordered to receive psychiatric treatment. The carrier recently featured on a current affair, its owner Greg Morris demonstrating its destructive force. It will take days to clean up the damage and restore mobile phone coverage. Sean Fewings, National 9 News.